Hello and welcome to the Aero-V engine assembly video series. I'm Joe Norris at Sonics Aircraft LLC. In this series of video segments, we are going to walk through the assembly of an Aero-V engine. We will be following the sequence called out in the Aero-V assembly manual. The manuals get updated much more often than the video series. So if there is a case where the manual and the video series disagree, your manual that came with your engine is the guide for you to follow. But in general, all of the steps that we have in the manual will be shown in the video series. We hope you enjoy the video series. We hope you enjoy putting together your Aero-V engine. And we look forward to seeing your airplane flying. In this segment, we're going to install the intake elbows on our heads. Uh, we don't use a gasket on our intake elbows. Uh, in the automotive side, uh, you'll read a Volkswagen manual and they'll have a little metal gasket that goes between the head and the intake manifold. With our proprietary intake elbows, we don't use a gasket. We just use some sealer. What we use typically is the high temp RTV red uh, sealer and we make our own gasket with the sealer. So we're just going to run a bead of sealer around each of the intake ports and then we'll attach the elbow to the head using that sealer as our gasket. So I'm going to go ahead and put the sealer on it now. All right, now that we have our bead of sealer on our intake elbow, we can position it on the head, slide it down, make contact. Now some of the heads will have these uh, studs like this to attach the elbow, and some will have cap screws that thread down into the head instead of the studs. In either case, the same uh, installation process. It'll be a 13 millimeter socket that you'll use on the fasteners in either case. And uh, basically, you're just going to snug them down until you see a good squeeze out between the uh, head and the intake elbow of your sealer. Get that started on there. A deep well socket or a uh, extension on your socket uh, works really well in this situation. Snug them down, and you just notice a, just a very slight little bit of squeeze out along the edge, and you've got it all set. If you're building a normally aspirated Aero-V engine, now would be a good time to test fit your intake manifold. The intake manifold is attached to the intake elbows by means of these silicone sleeves. Uh, there's two different styles that you may get with your Aero-V kit. One style is slightly tapered like the one I have in my hand. The other style is just a straight tube. Either way, the intake uh, manifold is installed in the same manner. We'll put the uh, sleeves onto the intake elbows first. You want to remember to put your hose clamp in there, and I like to pre-position the hose clamp right around here and then slide your intake elbow in. It's a little bit easier than trying to force the uh, hose clamp in there at, at a later time. I like to orient the hose clamp so that the uh, drive screw is outboard on the engine, much easier to get to if you ever have to disassemble while it's on the engine. I use a nut driver for these uh, the, to fit the uh, hex nut part of the driver. They are also set up to use a flat blade screwdriver as well. I'm just going to snug this down. And again, you can kind of adjust the alignment as you go to make sure that it's at a a good place to get to later on. After you get these snugged down, you can trim the ends of these hose clamps off so there's not a sharp edge uh, sticking out there to uh, cut yourself on later. Uh, what I'll also do is take a needle nose pliers and trim them and then bend the end down so that it kind of rounds it off and it, it leaves that sharp edge real close to the 
uh, intake manifolds so you don't have a sharp edge there uh, to cut yourself later during your servicing. We'll install the other clamp on the other side. Good thing you've got an editor. Why is it? Oh, there it goes. Now that our connectors are installed, we're ready to temporarily install the intake manifold. The intake manifold for the normally aspirated AeroV is a Y-shaped weldment. These uh, longer ends go into the uh, collars on the intake elbows. We don't want to forget to put our hose clamps on there. Now, having said that, this is a temporary installation. Uh, because we will have to remove this intake manifold in order to build our, our cooling baffles. So we're just test fitting now. One of the reasons we want to test fit is because this uh, bracket on the bottom that supports the bottom of the intake manifold will come to you in a straight condition without the hole drilled in it. So you will uh, custom fit it, if you will, to match up to your engine. This bolt hole here goes onto the bottom of the engine case, there's a bolt that goes through below the sump here, and that will uh, carry through to this hole, and that'll support the bottom of your intake manifold. So what we're doing here by test fitting is we're going to make sure that that bracket uh, fits properly, and we can custom drill that to fit our installation. We just slide these in, slide them in all the way, and we can put our clamp on to make sure that uh, everything is secure in its simulating its final installation. And again, you can trim these off after you uh, finish installing them to make sure that you don't have a long tang with a sharp edge on it to cut yourself with later on. Now that you're secure on top, what you're looking for here is you want a straight run on your intake tube here, and you want this to be fairly parallel with the accessory plate on the back of the engine. You don't want the intake manifold too far out so that you've got an angle here, and you don't want it so far in that it's contacting the mounting bolts on the accessory plate. So basically, you're going to drill this hole in the bottom bracket so that you get a nice straight line here and a nice parallel line back here. Then you anchor it down uh, on the bottom and your intake manifold installation is complete. You can remove this then and it'll be installed permanently after the engine is installed on the airframe.